hello plotter expert welcome back to our e-commerce application development journey in today's session we are stepping up how user experience came by enhancing the home screen with the latest arrival products we will also make the user interface more dynamic and engaging so yeah let's jump into the code so to keep our users updated with the freshest arrival we will be just adding a dynamic section on the home screen uh, dedicated to the latest products so let's um, create that so i will be just first moving um, uh, to my this search screen and i have just made some kind of modifications here also um i will just show them so yeah um when i just click on this button add to cart button so it will be just added to the cart so in the cart we will be just getting that but when i just move to this detailed page so so i have just brought some changes here so when it is in the cart so this button should be like this um, the icon will be the check mark and the title of the button will be in the cart so yeah i will just move to my details page and i'll just show you what uh, changes i have brought so yeah i will be just going to my henry screen and this product details so here in the on press function um i have just done uh, uh, created an instance of this card provider at the top as usual so we just want to get the card product here so i have just done this and in the on press function of our um this button basically product details uh, screen uh, here I have just uh, initially checked um, if this product uh, is in the cart so do nothing so just do that and let it be so if it is not in the cart so just add that product into the cart and the same thing I have done with the icon uh, I'm checking if the product um, is in the card, so we we'll just uh, change the icon to the check mark. So, yeah, if it is not, so just um, show the icon as a shopping card. So, I'll just show you this. And if it is not in the card, so it, the button will be just like this. And uh, same to the label or the title of the button. If it is in the card, it will be just showing the message in the cart as you see in this product so if it is not in the cart so it will be just uh, taking to add to the cart yeah that's it so you just need to change some kind of modifications in your details screen and you will be good to go so yeah we have just also uh, aligned and just uh, tackle that issue which we were facing in our previous video so here the OK and the um, cancel button were not uh, coming properly. So I have adjusted them. So basically I have just done nothing but I have just moved to my this uh, um, services class which was help methods. So I have just uh, brought some kind of changes to the row and I have just added this ma main access alignment uh, to a space between so to just give some kind of spaces between two buttons uh, text button basically um, and I have just added these pop uh, navigator so when I just click on ok button or oh, the cancel button it will be just the dialog box will be just closed so I have just done this and yeah on this cart screen I have just um, done nothing but I have just uh, uh, added this as error false so it is not uh, not an error basically it will be a warning to just alert the user if you want to create the cart or not so I have just added this line um, to my this uh, show error warning dialog in the cart screen so when I just click this so we will be just getting uh, remove items so I'll just okay so we will be just deleting the cart or clearing the cart 
so yeah i've just done that and we are just good to go please just bring these changes into your code and mm, that's it so now i will be just going to my home screen and we will be just getting the products um lattice product here and we will be just showing them here so for that we just need to move to our home screen and in the home screen we just need to create an instance of our product provider so we can just be able to get the products and show them in this uh, list so for that i will be just creating that which will be final uh, product and the product provider um great that's it now i'll just import this provider to just access that uh, which will be provider i'll just import that and as usual the context op context and we will just provide the class name which is product provider and now i will be just moving um, to that portion basically uh, to just check and bring the images here show the images here basically so now here we just need to uh, use the value which products we just want to show so we will be just uh, um, now wrapping this basically uh, this thing the latest arrival products widget um, with our this change notifier so we can be just able to get that which is change uh, notifier provider dot value that's it so now it requires a value here give the value so for that i will be just using this and we will be just getting the value and the value will be coming from this product provider instance which we just created and we will be just calling get products and now i'll just give it the index to it so that's it i'll just save this and let's see what will just happen and i will be just moving to my this class and i'll just bring some kind of um, changes on the images and we will be just getting that so from our um, that app constant so now we just don't need that we will be just getting the images from our product provider so for that we will be just um, creating that so yeah here on this latest arrival product we will be just also creating the instance of our products model so from there we will be just able to get the product so i'll be just creating that which will be final products and it will be model and i'll just import the provider the state management and we will be just getting that which is quick packs and import that library and I'll be just going to open context and now I'll just provide the class here which will be this the product model great so I'll just import that and that's it now I'll be just moving um, and getting the products basically so now I'll just remove this from here and I'll just call the product model and what is that which will be the product image great now i'll just bring some kind of changes to the title and the price also so for for that we will be just doing that so the title will be from there which is this product title product title and that's it so yeah i'll just also do this from here for this we just need the dollar sign here and these curly braces and now i'll just call that and which will be the product price great i'll just remove this cons from here and now i'll just save this so yeah we have just got this so yeah now this is good now we will be just um, creating our wish list and the viewed currently or viewed recently um, page here which is basically this wish list we will be just uh, uh, defining this basically so for that we will be just doing this um, creating this basically and the other one which is the viewed recently products we will be just also creating 
that but first i'll just restart my application from here so now yeah i will be just moving to uh how about this model class so here i have already created um, the wishlist model and the viewed a product model so i'll just show you um it is same to those model the cart model and the product model here in the wish list we just need the id of the wish list and the product id so we will be just able to add them and yeah same to this viewed product model so both are the same so we just changed um the class name here so yeah the provider class is basically all the same so i have already done that because i just don't want to waste the time mm, here so basically the same thing we are just doing we have just done in the card provider class so we have just added all of these methods and the logic of these methods are same with the wishlist one and the viewed product one so i have just uh, cleared or deleted the um unnecessary methods so we just don't need them in the wish list how in the viewed product so here i'll just show you what um i have just done so here this is the same thing the boolean to check if our product is in the cart or in the wish list i've just changed this method name to cart list and to replace the wish list with the cart so i'll just change this so you can just copy that and just change the name of the methods uh, basically just copy this class from here and just paste it with the wishlist provider and just bring the changes the class name should be the wishlist provider and the methods will be as product in the wishlist and the logic is the same as in as defined in the card provider and this is also same with the add or remove from wishlist so i have just changed this uh, so now we are just able to remove and uh, head back the product into the wishlist by just clicking the heart so here i have just done this if wishlist items basically this um, map contains the key which basically the product id is if it is already there so when user clicks it again so it will be just removed from there and if else if it is not there already so we just need to create that so i have just done that and this is the notify listener same simple and we just need to clear all the wish list by just clicking on the delete button um from the HIPAA so this is for that and also we have just done some kind of uh, same thing here in the viewed of product provider class so um, here I have just we just don't need to check the product so we will be just not um, using this so I have just commented it so here we just need to add product to the history so for that we have just done the same process um to that so yeah we also just don't need to clear um the basically this uh, hold the build recently so i have just un uh, commented this so we just don't we have just added this um, method on our viewed product so now we will be just going to our wishlist screen and then the viewed product screen to just uh call how are these methods from there so i will be just moving to there so basically we will be just going to this inner screen and the wishlist screen and now here we will be just doing some kind of changes so here now we will be just um, initializing our wishlist provider class which is um, we will be just getting the methods from there so which is which will be wish um, list provider and i'll just use the provider basically uh which will be provider and i'll just import our this provider package and uh, which will be hope context as usual and now we will be just checking um if it is if the cart is empty from the application so we will be just doing that so i'll just call the wish list 
provider which is wish list provider great now we are done so now i'll be just using this and i'll just remove this empty from here so i'll just use the wish list provider get wish list items so if it is empty so we will be just showing this bag simply empty um, bag so your viewed your wish list is empty basically so wish list is empty so done so now here we will be just changing the title also um, the wish list and now we will be just getting the length here which will be the dollar sign and the curly braces here so now we will be just calling this wishlist provider and get wishlist items and the length so we will be just getting the length and i'll just remove this const and that's it so in the action bar so we will be just uh, also configuring this and now we will be just calling our that my um methods class and we will be just showing a warning when the delete button is clicked so we will be just doing that and here we will be just tickling and um, giving it a subtitle or title remove items so i'll just do that and now we will be just calling the function which is basically from our provider class which is provider class and uh, which will be the clear wish list so yeah now what is the issue for that we just need to make it inside this curly braces so great i'll just do that i'll cut it from here i'll just set this from here and i'm good to go great so yeah i'll be just formatting the code and done now i will be just moving to this basically the dynamic grid view and here we will be just getting the um, uh, length from the wish list so i'll be just doing that which is wish list provider the get wish list items and the length done so now here i will be just um returning the product widget the product id we will be just getting that and now i'll just cut this and we will be just getting the product id from the wish list provider which is this and it will be get list which items and i'll be just getting the values which will be two list so the same thing we have just done in our card screen i'm just repeating all the process again to just make you guys much more clearer so it is the same thing basically so uh, that's the reason I'm not explaining these a bit so basically just get them and you are done so we will be just remove the const here and we are good to go and now I will be just going to our wishlist screen from there and let's just see and yeah we are getting the error because we have just not uh, defined this basically our provider classes into our main dot dart and the provider less so we just need to define them so here i'll just copy both and one for um the wishlist provider and the other one will be viewed product i guess this and i'll just set this and let's see what we will be just getting and i'll be just moving again to my dead wishlist class and yeah there is nothing but we will be just adding it soon the wishlist class is empty for now we will be just tickling that so yeah now i will be just moving to my this art button to just um, configure this thing so yeah on this on press function of my this art button widget now we will be just uh, doing that and now for that we just need to initialize our wishlist provider class here which will be final uh, wish list provider and i'll just import the provider here uh, which will be provider this and the op context 
context and I'll just provide the sorry class name here which will be wish list provider and that's it now I'll just save this and now we will be just quickly doing that basically uh, what will be that which is the we will be just coming here to the home press function of this and I'll just use this and now we will be just calling add or remove from the wish list and from now we will be just getting um, the product ID from our constructor so when I just click uh, here on this art button basically we will be just sending the uh, product ID um, also so from there we will be just uh, getting that so I'll be just making the final field here which will be um, product ID uh, a string um, product product ID pro duct ID that's it now I'll just make this uh, required so whenever we just call this art button and how are all the applications so we just need to pass the product ID so now here on the details page and this uh, mm, product budgets we are just getting error so we will be just providing that so yeah now I'll just get that which is widget dot product ID so I have already provided this and good and now we will be just tackling the issue on the other pages also so I'll just check some kind of things here when the icon uh, it is added so the icon also will be something else if it is not the icon should be this so for that I will be just um, checking that uh, wishlist provider um, is product and the wish list so if it is so we will be just doing some showing something else on this uh, wish list basically so for the widget dot product ID and if it is this so we will be just showing a bold is bold iconly bold basically which will be iconly iconly bold this one and the heart great now if it is not so just show that that's it now i'm done from here so i'll just also um, change the color on this basis so i'll just uh, use the color property of this which is color and now i'll just copy all of this from here and I'll just paste this if it is so so just uh, make the color to red so if it's already in the in the wish list so just add the heart color to the red and if it is not so make the color to the gray great now I'll just save this and I'm done so now I will be just moving to my this product widget class and here we are just getting the error so now we will be just tackling that and now we will be just getting the product and we, we can just get the product ID from this current product which is this and now I'll just provide this which will be product ID I'll remove the cons and we are good to go so in the product details we will be, we will be also getting that error so I'll just tackling that also so now here I'll just product ID and we will be just also getting the product ID from this current um, product so I'll just do that which will be product ID done so here now I'll just remove this const sorry 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 I'll just put the comma here and that's it I'll just save this and I will be just auto restarting this so now I'll be just clicking on this button so basically it is added into our wish list so I'll be just moving to the wish list here so yeah it is done um, headed into our this wish list class so great now we will be just checking that so yeah it is basically working it is being headed into the wish list and we are just getting it inside the wish list but yeah we are just not getting uh, uh, the high can change in our this lattice product so now we will be just tickling that out so I'll be just moving to my this last arrival product and here 
um, on this icon so we will just now call hover this art button widget so we will be just getting that from there so I'll just remove this and now I'll just call my heart widget basically which was heart button widget I'll just do that and now we will be just providing the um, product ID so we will be just getting the product ID from there basically we have just created the product model so I'll just copy this and I'll just get it from there which will be product model and the product ID now I'll just save this so that's it now we are just managed managing the this wishlist button from there so I have just added this from here so now I will be just also getting the mm, wishlist which is basically added from the home screen and it is already in the wishlist here so I'll just move to my wishlist from here and I'll be just getting that and here I have, we have already configured this basically so we are just getting this because the error we are just getting that error so we have um, not added something so I'll be just uh, doing that i'll be just moving to my that wish list screen which is this and here on that dialog alert box so we just need to um head the his error to false and we will be just doing good so now i'll be just moving again and we will just need to um head one item to the wish list and we will just test that again so I'll be just coming here and I'll just click here. So now it is good. Now I'll just click OK. It will be just removed from our wish list. So as simple as that. Now we will be just going to configure how that um, viewed recently screen. So I'll be just moving there basically. So I will be just um, simply creating uh, the instance here. So for that we just need to do that. So I will be just creating that which will be final and viewed product so provider I'll just import the provider package from here so I'll just do that I'll import that and I'll just uh, use the off context and that's it now I'll just give it the class name which will be viewed product model <laughs> not the model basically so we will be just um, providing the view product provider that's it i'll just do that and i'll just remove this i'm done so now from there with this uh, instance now we will be just checking if it is empty or not so great now we just get that and as empty so if it is empty so just show this so great now I'll be just moving ahead uh, ever is empty so it will just show this empty back widget class and now we will be just configuring this also from uh, there we will be just getting the length of our this items class so I'll just copy this I'll just paste this and sorry we just need the dollar sign basically so now we will be just getting the length from there and done i'll just remove the cost and i'll just save this and that's it so now here we will be just defining the um, delete on press but we will be just not um, showing this delete on our view screen so we will be just not uh, defining this so great now i will be just moving there to my this body part and in the inside the body part now we will be just providing this basically mm, the product id so where from where we will be just getting the product id so as usual so we will be just getting it from the get items and this time it will be values again and we will be just doing the two list and now we will be just providing the index to it and now we can just be able to get the product id from there and i'll just remove this const and i'll just save this and there you have it and we will also just uh, tackle this issue the length issue we will be just getting the length from that list also so great we are done so i'll just go here 
so we are just not sending that basically um hide into this home screen so we will be just tickling that issue um we will be just going to our this latest arrival product and now we will be just doing that and now from here we will be just sending the arguments here also which will be coming from our product model um basically product model great now which is be product and this will be product model and we will be just keep sending the id um to that which will be this great now we also just need to um send the viewed product id when we just click here so for that we will be just also um creating an instance for our viewed product which will be viewed provider i'll just provider called the provider it's already Hit it so I don't need to import it again. So that's it. Now I'll just provide the class name which will be uh, viewed provider viewed um, product provider, and that's it. Now I'll be just also uh, sending that which will be this, and I'll just make this a wait for some time and to get the viewed product, so and then just move to. In the next screen so that's it now viewed product and um, head to uh, product history and now when I just click this and now we will be just providing that from our this product model uh, class so I just copy this paste this and done so I'll just save this getting error Whoa semicolon done i'll just save this and now when i just click this button and we are just inside this and now it should be just added to our um view recently product screen so yeah it is so that's it we are done um by managing our application um stairs so we are just doing good we can be just able to head this head to cart and we can just uh, move to our this cart screen and we are just we can be just able to increase that also we are just getting this and this checkout button is still not uh, uh, configured so we will be just configuring that later on but yeah our this stat is working fine so we can be just able to view the this one also and we can just remove it from the um, wish list and we can also just remove it from the cart here so that's it now we are done by just managing our this user um, e-commerce application and the next we will be just uh, um, designing our admin application and the next we will be just integrating our firebase so yeah in the part 17 we have focused on improving user experience by introducing a section for the latest arrival products on the home screen this dynamic addition enhanced user engagement and keeps them informed about the freshest items in our inventory and we have implemented wish list and viewed recently screen if you enjoyed this part don't forget to like and subscribe stay tuned for our next segment where we will continue to enhance our flutter application until then stay happy stay fit and as usual happy fluttering